I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. It's Jordan and Emma here with your announcements for September 25th, 2020. Teachers, please send any updates or announcements that you may have to CVTV at centralvalleysd.net. Today is the last day to buy Spirit Week shirts. If you'd like to buy one, they'll be selling them outside the nurse's office during lunch. Shirts will be $10 for sizes small through extra large, $11 for sizes double extra large, and $13 for sizes triple extra large. That's all we have for your announcements today, CV. Now here's Bree and Nick with your sports. Hey CB, it's Nick and Antonio here to bring you daily sports news. Our football team plays away at Newcastle tonight. The game starts at 7 o'clock. Hopefully our football team can continue their undefeated season and go 3-0 tonight. Girls soccer plays tomorrow night away at Blackhawk starting at 7.30. That's all we have for you today CB. Now here's Bree and Josh with a special segment on COVID vaccine. Good morning, Central Valley. Bree Petty and Josh Campbell here with the latest update on what's going on with the COVID vaccine. According to the New York Times News, the head of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration stated last month that the approval of the COVID vaccine may be bypassed as long as the benefits outweigh the risk. Developers globally have yet to succeed in producing a large-scale vaccine. However, Russia granted approval to the COVID vaccine just last month. According to statnews.com, nine American vaccine makers have pledged not to seek government approval without extensive safety and effective data. The COVID vaccine is seeking approval for this fall, but that is only wishful thinking. The trials are being completed in phases. The FDA stated that companies are coming upon phase three. This phase is enrolling up to 30,000 volunteers. It's expected that the trials need about 250 cases of COVID-19 to have testable data. However, as Trump pushes for the coronavirus vaccine before the election this November, one major vaccine trial has come to a halt as a participant develops symptoms of a potentially unexplained illness. The pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca puts a halt on their global trials due to serious and unexpected reaction to a potential vaccine. The trial's halt was first reported by state by Stat News and will allow the British Sweden company to conduct a safety review. How long this will take is unclear. That's all we have for you, Sunday Valley. Have a great day.